Sure, achieving holistic life success entails much more, but it's definitely not just about working twice as hard or long. Welcome to the KFH Akeda Studio. Our reason and reality check theme today. Is working twice as hard the key to becoming rich and successful? According to KFH, the answer is a resounding no. We've all encountered advice in clips and podcasts that suggests the path to prosperity involves working twice as hard. Klaus, or KFH, short for Klaus Ferdinand Hempfling, shared some fascinating insights during a seminar on success and wealth. He articulated his perspective, aiming to clarify why the common advice to work twice as hard to become rich and successful is fundamentally flawed. He explored how this mindset can lead to unintended consequences, including material poverty, as well as mental, social, and physical challenges. To truly grasp this phenomenon, it's essential to take a step back and consider the broader context. How did this advice come to be, and why does it seem reasonable at first glance? The explanation is quite straightforward. This saying may have been mindlessly repeated by individuals striving for success but not attaining it. Alternatively, genuinely successful individuals might have inadvertently conveyed their experiences. When such successful individuals mention working twice as much, they are essentially expressing that they don't perceive it as work in the conventional sense. They are driven by their passions and inner visions to the point where their activities resemble those of a child engrossed in a game, even late in the evening at bedtime. Whether it's still arranging stuffed animals meticulously, parking toy cars just right, or gluing a wing onto a toy plane, their actions are fueled by the same energy and motivation. The truth is that they aren't working in the traditional sense, they are playing, taking essential breaks, and pausing for moments of reflection. Exactly this approach forms a foundation for achieving wealth and success or simply living a fulfilled life, whether that entails financial prosperity or having everything in its rightful place. KFH continued to reflect on this, sharing, I've faced loss more than once in my life, only to regain it after months. The reason lies in the fact that I've never truly perceived my efforts as work in the conventional sense. I've always aligned my actions with the belief that I'd pursue them wholeheartedly, even if I didn't earn a single penny. He further explained that while completing his first book, a global bestseller, he even had to declare bankruptcy for his existing business. Yet, he had unwavering confidence, joy, intuition, motivation, and the belief that success would follow this foundation. Though he remained active through many nights, he never worked twice as hard, instead, he did what needed to be done, he played like a child. Achievement and continuous creation naturally flow when driven by deep motivation, joy, and a willingness to harness inner strengths. Success, ultimately, is a game guided by motivation, pure interest, and a commitment to maintaining balance. This journey encompasses social harmony, care for one's body and health, and represents a holistic pursuit, distinct from servitude or self-enslavement. Successful individuals, perhaps not well-versed in semantics and psychology, recognize that they are always creating and acting, much like a child who remains active day and night. But, they offer such advice to those who may overlook a crucial aspect, understanding their deepest interests, talents, and qualities. However, it's vital to note that without this self-awareness, many individuals may spiral further into self-destruction. KFH then asked his listeners a simple question, how many of us know people who work multiple jobs to make ends meet but never accumulate wealth? Instead, they become physically drained, socially isolated, and burned out. He said, I deeply respect these hardworking individuals, they do what's necessary to support themselves and their loved ones. However, this isn't a recipe for wealth. In such cases, so Klaus, I encourage people to contemplate their actions and find ways to manifest their inner worlds into reality. Life involves being active and embracing challenges with motivation and interest. Highly successful individuals often project an image of unwavering dedication to their success. 
Yet, they understand that certain tasks they delegate to others are not tasks they would personally undertake, as they classify them as real work. To them, this would mean squandering precious lifetime. Creative and successful individuals passionately avoid such tasks. Of course, within activities driven by genuine inner motivation, there are less enjoyable tasks that demand thoroughness and effort, both internally and externally. However, even a child must rebuild a wing of their sandcastle when it breaks due to a breeze. The child might get annoyed, but does it stop playing? No, the entire project, with its challenges, remains the focus and goal. The child may grumble, restart with motivation, and only cease playing or achieving success when told, you must work hard now. KFH concluded this theme with these words, for a motivated individual, the goal is set, and every step, including the highs and lows, is guided by inner motivation and joy, the result may be distant, but it's clear. Sure, achieving holistic life success entails much more, but it's definitely not just about working twice as hard or long. Advice often contains a mix of truths and untruths. Unfortunately, untruths are frequently perpetuated. But this repetition doesn't make them any more accurate. Therefore, dear listeners, never blindly follow advice that you haven't thoroughly examined.